They are an ancient species of flowering plants that grow submerged in all of the world's oceans, from the latitudes of northern Alaska to the tip of South America. Seagrasses evolved during the age of the dinosaurs nearly a hundred million years ago and are found today in bays and estuaries around the globe. In shallow tropical and subtropical waters, these prairies of the sea link the offshore coral reefs with coastal mangrove forests. They provide food and shelter for many marine species that will one day inhabit the reefs. Sea grasses and mangroves stabilize coastal sediments and create buffers against storm surge and flooding. They remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, filter contaminants from coastal waters, and add value to local economies. But sea grasses are in decline globally, and mangroves are being lost to coastal development. These areas are degrading right now. It's not 50 years from now or 100 years from now, but it's occurring right now. The rate at which we're losing seagrass habitat globally could result in an ecosystem collapse from the bottom of the food chain all the way up. Will restoring seagrass and mangrove communities help sustain the ecological and economic values of the oceans, bays, and estuaries? And how will rising sea levels impact their survival in the future?